Vermont Yankee will remain under the oversight of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission through the remaining operation, plant shutdown, and throughout the decommissioning phases. In addition to running the plant reliably and safely through the remainder of our operating cycle through the fourth quarter of 2014. 545 Lives, Ron Boyden here. I'm standing in Hinsdale, New Hampshire, on the banks of the Connecticut River, just across from the Vernon, Vermont Yankee nuclear power plant, where news rocked the media stratosphere today. Uh, as it was announced from Entergy Nuclear that uh, they will voluntarily close their Vernon-based Vermont Yankee nuclear power plant at the end of next year. It's cutting loose a highly contested 18 years of remaining operating time on their NRC-approved and twice federally court-backed 20-year license extension. This was really uh, the last decision that we wanted to make, but we feel like we have thoroughly evaluated all the various scenarios and options, and unfortunately it's painfully clear that this asset is simply not uh, financially viable. The next step is to move all the fuel to dry casks. After the spent fuel is in dry casks, we will monitor the station and safeguard the dry casks until the full fuel is removed when the Department of Energy fulfills its contractual obligations. Near the end of the safe store period, we will complete dismantling and site restoration. Certainly now, um, our taxes will just skyrocket. You know, we've obviously had very strong disagreements in the past about the future of the plant, but our job now is to work together uh, with Entergy and find a a good economic future for the hard-working employees. That's who my heart goes out to, and I know the rest of Vermonters join me. Now, uh, this morning's announcement, which came at 8.30 a.m. to employees, and shortly thereafter in a release, comes just after the uh, appeals court decision to uh, approve Vermont Yankees' right to continue operating, even in the face of the state of Vermont's own Act 160 legislation, which aimed at closing the plant as originally scheduled in 2012. But with the appeals court also denying Entergy's request for more than $5 million in compensatory legal fees from the state of Vermont, the Louisiana-based energy company looks to have the financial viability of their plant on their minds. And while a series of court cases, environmental licenses, public service board decisions, and other obstacles have failed to stand in Vermont Yankees' way, it looks like continued operation has finally met a nemesis big business has yet to find a way around the market. For 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden.